Hello everyone, this is me Shapsish and you are watching Arduino Pros. So in today's tutorial we will be learning about LCD Shield. So let's program it. In today's tutorial we will be using a LCD Shield and Arduino Uno. So, uh, talking about the LCD shield, uh, you can see some couple of switches uh, like this one for select, left, up, down and right and this one is for reset uh, if you want to uh, reset the whole program or like that and this one, this LED is for the power indicator and there are some pins uh, for the analog communication uh, for input 5 volt uh, power supply, VIN and reset pin and in the top uh, we can see that uh, this is a potentiometer through which uh, you can adjust the brightness of the LCD uh, this is a 16 into 2 LCD and over the top uh, these are a few more pins uh, which will be connected to the Arduino uh, now talking about the Arduino my suggestion is that uh, always try to use Arduino Uno or Arduino Mega uh, this is because to avoid the uh, size compatibility uh, since uh, you can see that um, the LCD shield is uh, of quite a big size so uh, if you use Arduino Uno or Arduino Mega it will be easy to fit on it. Now let's attach the LCD to the Arduino. So before attaching uh, make sure you leave uh, two columns over here and two over here. So by leaving this uh, let's attach it. So uh, it's complete as you can see it has uh, attached quite well. So now let's program. The so this is the menu driven program that we will be using for our LCD keypad shield. So before uh, starting the programming we should keep in mind a couple of things like the pin configuration since it is different from the normal LCD. So coming to the main programming. Uh, this is the first user interface that you will be seeing after you upload the code. Over here I have uh, used four different menus and for every menu there are uh, different functions. So you can use uh, as many as you want. For every menu there should be a uh, different function written for that. And like if uh, we choose uh, menu A, you will be directed to menu A function and so on. So now if uh, the user selects menu A, you will be directed to the menu A function and you will get to see the message that is written inside or whatever you want. So basically this is the task part which you will get to know in the later on tutorials. So now coming to the logic part, uh, how to use the up down button. This is the main uh, logic uh, function which you will be using to uh, go up and down. Basically, we will use uh, this logic to use those buttons like for the up and down function. And this is the uh, keypad uh, means the button values which are used. So to uh, point out certain buttons like the select up and down. And now let's upload the code. Go to the tools section. Select your board. In our case, we are using Arduino Uno. So I have selected Arduino Uno. Go to the port section, select whatever port you get for the Arduino. So now let's upload it. It will take some time to upload. So let's wait. And it got uploaded. Now let's see the Arduino LCD shield. So this is how it looks after you upload the code. Basically the top column is a static one and the below one is a dynamic one since you can change the value whenever you press the down or up button. So now let's select the menu A. So you can see a message got printed inside menu A since uh, inside the menu A the function we have written this message. So if you want to go to the main menu just press the left button and you are here in the main menu. And like that if you select any of the menus like we have selected menu C so you got you can see the, uh, it is written inside menu A and like that. So this is now the end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video then do give a thumbs up and if you learned something new then do subscribe our channel for more updates. Thank you and have a nice day. I don't think there's more than we can do. How come you think that I still owe you?